He looked uh, incredibly similar to Rich Piana. He was almost like his doppelganger. Dude, I thought it was fake for a sec <laughs> of how similar it was. Like the guy literally looks like an equivalent clone. So, first of all, about what you're talking about, about the face, the thing I noticed the most is that the nose widens as opposed to gets longer. It's like it keeps getting wider. And then also like the cheekbone, you'll often see a line being very pronounced at the top here. As opposed to having big cheekbones, it's more like a line. Like on Dave Palumbo, for example, he talks about this on his channel. He got a, li he got a line from it. So um, also in the research, you'll find that an acromegaly, which is when p people have pituitary tumors and they're, they continue to grow uncontrollably. Like for example, the last governor of California, whose name is... Uh, Dude, we have to talk about that guy after because that's, that's a whole nother video. I couldn't believe... How'd you even find... And maybe we should talk about that now because it's a really good topic. So how'd you find that to begin with? The so I read yeah. ra a random historic... Yeah. <laughs> Pio Pico. Pio Pico, he was the last Mexican governor of California and he looked uh, incredibly similar to Rich Piana. He was almost like his doppelganger. Dude, I thought it was fake <laughs> for a sec of how similar it was. Like the guy literally looks like an equivalent clone. It's absolutely insane. And you found this by accident or how'd you stumble across this guy? Yeah, by accident, yeah. So I, I came across him by accident and he had a pituitary tumor and you can see the vis... So not everybody who takes growth hormone is going to look like he has acromegaly, which is acromegaly is this giganticism. But people who do often have the, the lower lip protrude and then the, the, yeah. the, 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 the chin, I guess, gets longer. The face gets a bit longer. And so you can see the similarities in the two of them. But you were yeah, so that guy that guy he well, like obviously I don't think we even need to explain how blatantly similar the two look like it's It's not even about interpreting that. Oh, yeah, I can see the similarity like it literally looks like the same dude Like 200 years ago or something the thing I found interesting was I looked him up, you know, he lived into his 90s Yes, well his pituitary tumor reversed in his 50s Ah, but even even making it well, I guess he's not a bodybuilder who's walking around at 300 pounds, so he probably has a better chance of longevity than Piana. But um, how that how would that reverse? Just out of curiosity, like if you presumably have it since would it just like kick in at a certain point throughout your livelihood, and then it's sort of like how would that happen? So there's a couple of things you mentioned. One is that the, that it's impressive that, he's, that he lived to 90, and it is obviously impressive. For the people who continue to grow in physical stature, so some people get acromegaly um, like after their estrogen has peaked and they stopped growing and their growth plates closed. And, some people, and when they get it like that, they usually don't develop as, um, basically they don't die as early because their body isn't growing that significantly. So most giants die in their 40s. But um, wh what was your second question was? Uh, oh, about how it would uh, reverse itself and kind of like turn on and off sort of thing. I'm not sure, but I think he had a surgery, but I'm not sure. It was okay. in the 1800s. Yeah, because I was assuming he was going to be like, well, first of all, in the 1800s, I would assume your lifespan would probably not be predicted to be 90, regardless of if you had acromegaly or not, but the fact that he made it to 90 to me was just shocking considering. Um, but yeah, it was kind of weird how it just seemed like it just sort of turned itself off halfway through. It says a disease not characterized until later in the 19th century. And the, the published article about him didn't even come out till like 10 years ago. And the guy was from the 1800s. So that was just, to me, baffling how, so you put this collage together of the two side by side, I think. Or did you find that you didn't find this no, somewhere? No, I put it together, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Was this something you were going to make a video on at the time? Because this is like a thumbnail in itself. Yeah, I made a post about it on Instagram about like three or four months ago. But I don't know. Not many people see it. <laughs> this picture with, um, I don't know, is this like his wife and daughters or something? I don't yeah, know. it's his family. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, like it's uh, striking, the difference. It almost makes you wonder if there's like some sort of relation <laughs> like, up way, you know? So, but yeah, that's absolutely crazy. 